Okay, now the reason for giving the wet and dry sandpaper. Um, hang on. Oh, God, I should have thought about this before I started recording. Once I have an idea, I just get on with it pretty much straight away. All right, what was sent to me by my friend Jeff was this little button compass. You seen that? The Strike Anywhere match which I think needs a bit of fuel in it because it's um, it's not lighting so I just put some Zippo fluid in there and it keeps that soap I also got a uh, wet cube wet fire, fire starting tinder um, and coolest gift I've had in a long time, a really good quality fire steel. I mean, look at that. Good solid size handle, which I've wanted for a while. You know, good military size fire steel. Good striker. Not the little flimsy one that I've got here somewhere. Where is it? Hang on. military size. The striker is much bigger than your standard light my fire and I find this much easier to use I can get a better grip on it. So once again thanks Jeff for this I really really appreciate it. Oh almost forgot the handle is hollow so you can put your little tinder bundle in there. There's some cotton wool you know, maybe the cube, I can, I can break this up and put it inside. So that's pretty good. I'd like to know where you got this from though, because I haven't seen these on the market. But then again, I haven't really been looking for a fire steel because I've got my own. Okay, get all the stuff out of the way. Ah, uh, great. Coffee's gone cold. I made this just before I left, which was uh, just over an hour ago. No, uh, 40 minutes ago. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Right. Let me get a close up of this. Okay. I have not touched this up or cleaned it or done anything to it since it arrived back. Um, so I wanted to show you guys what condition it's in. It's got a few scratches, well worn blade. Um, from what I understand nobody has actually um, sharpened this at all since they've had it. Um, it's got a few wear marks and it's got a couple of um, scratches on the swedge here um, but the swedge itself is still in good condition I'm running my nail on it there are no dents no scrapes no chips missing and that got a pretty good beating from a couple of the, the testers now after I saw them testing this and I saw their review on it. I do like the swedge as a design. I did this by hand. I measured it by eye. I didn't actually use a machine. Um, it's almost, you can almost say that it's almost sharp but you know it will not cut. Um, but I think in future if I do this sort of Bowie design again 
I may sort of round that off. Actually have the same design, but rounded. Sort of more like that there. So that it is more functional for when you're battening through wood. But, um, in my defense, um, I didn't design this for uh, wood battening at all. Uh, battening of wood is basically I'd be using a machete or I'd carry a folding saw, something like that, or even an axe. This would be a uh, last case scenario if you haven't got any other tools yet, then you know, you'd use this to batten wood. And that's where this shape comes in handy. It's got the scandy grind here, it's got a double bevel here. Um, the bevel starts there and goes to about there. And then you may or may not be able to see the edge just here. But because of the um, the design of that, it works like a, a wedge. So that is actually quite good for splitting wood. Because once you hammer into it, it forces the wood apart. And here the scanty grind, it's just a single bevel. Single piece from here to there. So what am I going to do now? Well, I will touch it up just gently to see if I can get it back to shaving sharp because at the moment it's sharp to cut but it won't shave. Scandy. Now Scandy edge will shave just So I'll just touch this up and get a, the edge back on it. Okay, the, the guard has come loose just a little bit, but it will never fall off because it's actually slid onto the tang. But that's not a major issue. Um, the super glue that I've put in here to help hold that has, is showing some signs of wear. The handle is uh, weathered quite nicely. Now got that um, cream colour to it. And to be honest guys, these holes, they were more decorative and functional for holding the scales on than they were to be used as uh, lashing points for a spear. I'd actually never thought about that. Some of the guys came up with the idea of if you have a piece of wood, you could lash it onto it by feeding paracord through there and tying paracord around the stick and you have yourself a makeshift spear. But um, yep, my name is not uh, Schwarzenegger, I'm not in the South American jungle fighting predators so that's not something I would consider doing. But yeah, I guess you could do that. I mean these nickel tubes, they go right through. Um, but the edges of the nickel tubes on the inside they have not been rounded off, so if you put any paracord through there, it will rub over time. The central spacer of beef wood is still in good condition. Um, there is no damage to the handle. There is a little gap here and there, but that was there originally, so I'm not worried about that. Overall, I think my knife has survived pretty well um, the testing of um, well that's been been traveled and sent around all, all the world okay I've just come back from making lunch and find that the computer and the camera don't want to talk to each other the last bit of filming that I did on the video was actually um, it failed to upload so I can't show it to you um, it was me actually using the wet and dry sandpaper to resharpen this and bring it back to shaving sharp. Gotta be careful not to get my hairs on my lunch. 
um, as you see it is shaving sharp now um, and I only took about 10 minutes on the sandpaper so sorry I couldn't show it to you but uh, if I film long sections of video on that camera for some reason it won't um, download onto the computer I have to do it in the small increments and I just totally forgot so sorry about that guys but uh, again I just want to thank all my friends who participated in this pass around this knife pass around um, what I'll do is I'll add via annotations some links and also links down in the description box um, of where you can see all the videos of the guys testing this so once again to my friends who uploaded their videos which are Scott from uh, Base Fury, uh, Sean the Silver Fox, Freddy, Hobby XP, uh, Matthias, he did a video but it hasn't been uploaded yet, uh, Sepp from Belt Handwerk, uh, Dave from Bushcraft on Fire, uh, Jeff, Captain Jeff also did a video um, but hasn't uploaded it, um, he also had some issues, um, and that was pretty much it. My friend Mark and Mike make a mook and bushcut buttons. They would like to have taken part, but unfortunately they were unable to. That's life. Sometimes it doesn't go the way we want. Okay, so I'll um, I'll leave the links here for you guys to click on, and uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys for now. All right.